Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing? Isn't that cool? Look at that earring. And then this one has like a little bee. Yeah. Pulled my jewelry out today because, you know, I was cleaning out my jewelry. And I'm like, oh, I haven't worn that in forever. So I did. The one good thing about staying is, is cleaning out. Um, the second video I am doing today, so I can get this out of here, it's looking so good in here, is another way I thrifted. I won online auctions from an estate sale. So I won different lots, but it was the same online auction. Um, and the stuff has been sitting here. So I wanna show you what I won, so this way I can take pictures and put it away. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. This is a great way to source. Um, you can look through Facebook for online auctions, um, live auctioneers, Auction Ninja. There's probably different like local ones by you. So just Google online auctions in your area and you can find some. And she hears that dog upstairs and she says, don't bother me because the puppy bothers her. So she's growling at her from down here. You say, don't bother me. Aww. Say hi, Rosie. Everyone, this is Rosie. She's a half a wawa. She has half, half a niece and half chihuahua. And she weighs around five pounds. And she's going to be nine this year. And she's a feisty little thing. So we'll put you down then. Okay. So first, let me get this big thing out of the way. This was all part of um, like lots. Um, so I didn't necessarily want everything. I might've wanted one thing in the lot and I, like the lot is like a dollar. So you just get other things with it. So this is a dual eight editor. It's like an editing machine. I didn't want this, but I got this. So I'll sell it. Someone will want it. Well, it's like an old, an old editing machine. So you put like the old tapes in it. Then you can see what it is here and then they splice it. You take, make a cut and then you splice it together. Imagine you guys editing videos back then. What? Crazy, right? So people collect this stuff and they use it. Yep, yes they do. So let me just get that out of my way. I want a few lots of books and there might have been one book in there I wanted and a lot of them came. See any books you want. Morris West, Masterclass, Sins of the Father. I wanted this book, 100 Best Things Sold on eBay. That's what I wanted. I paid 25 cents for this lot. And also we got Aunt Charlotte's Stories of Bible History. It's a very old book. It is, that's kind of cool to be honest. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But I really, I bought it for that. 25 cents. And I got all these other books. So if there's anything you want, y'all let me know. Okay, next lot of books. Again, it was like a dollar. The Second World War by Winston Churchill. What year is this from? What year? 1959. Okay, kind of cool. Antique automobiles. Golden books of the Wanamaker stories. Old book, these look cool on the shelf. 1861 to 1911, Jubilee year. These are old books. Um, this is Painted Maps by Shaw. That's kind of a cool cover. Painted Map, The Happy Islands. Ports of Shadows. I don't know. How's that old smell book? Pictures. It was done in New York and it was done for Bob. This is copyrighted in 1931. Just want some old books. 
the story of the Great War. Ooh, has advertisements in it. That's kind of cool. Let's see. This was in New York too. Collier and Sons. 1916. This book was in a bag because it's falling apart. It's another issue of the Great Wars. So I'm going to leave it in here. So if you guys want some old books, where there's one, okay, there's one other set of books. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but let me just show you. I think I did. These are 15. Charles Dickens books and they're like they call them pocket size the size of your hand they're leather bound they're like almost soft color but leather bound um and I have um like here's Oliver Twist I let me just read off quickly the ones that I have um Bleak House I'm reading upside down Christmas Story Humphrey's Clock Oliver Twist Barney Rouge David Copperfield Old Curiosity Shop, Nicholas Nickleby, Dombey and Son, Martin Chuzzlewit, American Notes, Little Dorrit, A Tale of Two Cities. Some of them are falling apart. Um, Sketches by Boys, Great Expectations, and the Christmas Book. So those are all of them. So if you want a set of old books, and they're really cool because they're like pocket-sized books. And they're Charles Dickens, so who doesn't like Charles Dickens books? That set goes for probably five hundred dollars online, um, even in that in the condition. They're very very old. Okay, so since this is out, let me just do this before I undo the bags. I won this a lot. Um, this came with something else, and I don't know what. Like say it's like lot forty one. And they were traits. I already gave one to my mother-in-law with some eggs on it, beautiful one, and I have one upstairs that's holding candles. They're the, really the prettiest ones. And the one I gave my mother-in-law was silver. So, just trays. This one is marked silver plate really pretty right it's really pretty put some fruit on it and then here's the last one I have a lot of stuff so I'm not gonna like stay on anything so I'm happy just to be getting it away because everything looks good here I'm getting an order I'm getting an order and then I'm going to show you I'm going to be thrifting for my own house and I can thrift for my own house for a really long time to be and my husband asked that I do that because it's getting too much and I understand so okay so let's get to the good stuff okay. let's see what else we have I don't remember it's, this has been um weeks and weeks okay so I won I know lots of Teacups. Oh, this has the luster finish. Isn't that pretty? I love when the insides have. See, like this whole bag was eight, like not eighty-nine dollars. It was lot eighty-nine, and I paid no more than five dollars for any lot. I paid twenty-five cents to five dollars, and the five-dollar lots were the, the teacups. So I think the whole auction I spent like 40 something dollars. And then you have a fee, you always pay their fee. So these are made in Japan. These are bone china. I know, cause I can see through it. They're so cute and little. I don't know what else is in here. And sometimes like they'll show a whole shelf of something and you're bidding on the whole shelf. So if there's one or two things you want, you get everything. Oh my God, a little miniature one. If you're from Tennessee, how cute is that? Gonna have all the newsprint all over it. I never opened these after I got it. So. 
This is like a surprise to me. So we have another one from Japan and it's like green with gold. Miniature teacup collection. Oh my God, this one's so pretty. This is, oh, this is Limoges one. Oh, I love this. Look at the handle. So it has the, the three leaves and this is a Limoges one. France, China, Limoges, China. And then, I mean, really people, how cute is that? Love that. Excited to open these. These have been sitting here a while. Okay, this is made in Occupy Japan. So made in Occupy Japan. So that's so cute. Mini teacups. I'm gonna take a picture after I'll insert a picture. No, someone said, you made me so nervous when I hear you like do something like that or I drop something. Yeah, because, you know, I do that. See, like this just says made in Japan. So one is older and one is newer, even though it's still really old. So here is this one. This is not um marked at all but this is definitely japanese and it's a little bit of luster wear how cute have a spot of tea i've actually been drinking a lot of tea not coffee i've been drinking a lot of tea because i've been feeling like it and then here is this one i told you said made in japan um and then it says gold castle gold castle made in japan isn't that cute this looks so pretty on a shelf someone was being bad so she is in her cage and so i hear her whining and crying so sorry and then here's the tennessee one if you know someone from tennessee what a beautiful beautiful little gift that is our little girl from tennessee or someone just had a baby who lives in tennessee i have a surprise but i'm not allowed to say it but I'll let you know what my surprise is when I can. I can't right now, but it is a good surprise. So here's another lot. Let's go to the next lot. So I don't know, this was part of the lot. I guess you can put a bottle of wine in here, makeup brushes, whatever. I mean, I'll take it. We'll find use for it or someone can. This lot was a piece of Lennox, not really something I usually pick up, but this makes a really nice gift for somebody, especially now we're all stuck in, you know what I mean? And it's a vase, it's a short vase. It's actually really pretty. It's a swirly design. It's called the Flare Spiral Vase from Lennox. Even has the tag on it, so that would make a really nice present. I like Lennox. It's just not something I usually buy unless it's something specific. This came in a lot. Again, no lot was more than $5. So this whole bag was a lot. So it's a big bag, and I think these are more Teacups, teacups, please. Okay, so we have, okay. There's a piece of um, glass, that's 27 on the bottom and it has, um, like, you know, the boat. What do you call that? I don't want to say ore, but what do you call that? It's slipping my mind, okay. So is this like a bottle lot? I don't remember winning bottles florida bottling company baldwin new york content six and a half ounces so this is a town in new york it's actually a beautiful beautiful bottle look has the uh lines on it that could be really pretty put a flower in it or something i actually quite like that bottle and it's for oil or vinegar let's put your oil and vinegar there Um, okay, it doesn't have a spout. It's just, it's just you guys, you have to pour it. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Just a bottle. Oh, look at this. It's a mason jar and it's new. 
It's not food safe. It looks like a big old candy corn, but really, wouldn't that be pretty on a table in the summer with like big sunflowers? That's pretty. I don't remember this at all. Not even, not even in the slightest. So it's like Christmas, my birthday, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, my anniversary. Oh no, all wrapped in one. Okay, we got one, uh, one pint liquid, like the little milk bottles. That's kind of cute. Like if you're having brunch and you put some milk in here. This is cute. I'm like, I'm not mad at any of this stuff. But I, I'm just wondering what's in here that I wanted to buy. Because so far, I don't know. We have some clear creamer. I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. United Farms, Albany, New York smaller one so if you want cream one could be milk one could be cream all right all this though for five dollars it's not bad this is a good way to source rj smith dairy phone harding look at this one sealed half pint so here's a little half pint one wow these are really cute even do it on the shelf is decoration, but they're also usable. It's another one. Oh, this is gonna make someone happy, happy, happy. Oh, I feel a plate. Is this one I bought? No. We got a Christmas plate. Has bells on it. Bells, bells, bells. I want to know what I bought in here. So far, I don't remember this. Maybe this is it, maybe this is it. Okay, this is the top to something, so hold on. Is this what I bought? No, but this is cute too. This is so darn cute. Look, the post office. It's a teapot. It doesn't have any name on it, but it's a ceramic teapot. There's no cracks. I mean, I think it's like a little missing paint, but that was in the manufacturing of it. Um, it's finished. And it has a thing to keep it in place, so it's made really well. Um, that's so cute. So we can have a little spot of tea. Oh my god, I just love this. But that's not why I bought it. I'm still waiting. Where's where's the where's my Oh, this is cute. This is um mice in England. It's blue. And white, and it's a little gravy boat. That's so pretty. This stuff is all nice, but oh, here's some salt plates. Maybe this is why I bought it because I love these. I think this is why I bought the whole lot. It was like five dollars or left, but here's like a little salt plates. This one is um, really cute and is marked. I think it's French, but I can you guys see that? It says something, and then there's three an S dot S dot S dot. I don't know, but it's really really cute. Um, and then there's this one. Look how cute it is. Put your like your little sugar cubes on here. This has a little crazing. I don't know if you could see that. Um, but it's cute. This might have been why I bought this lot. Oh, look at this one. It's a bird. It's like Japanese one. Put some like soy sauce in these or little mustard salt. They call them salt dishes. This one is made in Havitland and Company Limoges. And it's stamped something else. This is Bone China. It has a floral print on it. And here's another one. It's floral and then, I don't know, some kind of sticker on it. Very, very old sticker. This one is Mark Guthers 
Carlsberg from 1974 and it's number 118. And it's floral. This one looks like porcelain. Um, I don't know what that sign is. That's it. It's floral. And then here's another one. That's what it says in the back. And I just thought they were fun. Right? Aren't they fun? We got a whole stack of them. Very, very cute. Okay, okay. Oh, there's one other thing. What is this? Okay, it has a magnet on the back. This looks like it hangs off of something. So, I don't know. Is it like a, you mix a salad? It's made in Italy. Um, that's what that is. My house, that's what it would have been, right? Okay. Oh. More little teacups. That is beautiful. I love the shape of that. And it also has swirlies on it. And this says, this is from Germany, Honenberg, Germany, and it's numbered. So beautiful. Are these just the cutest things to put out? This is so much of the other one. It has a little bit of, um, that luster, the shine to it. And then look inside. It, I love when the print's inside too. This is Bone China and this is marked Royal Sealy Occupy Japan. That's a really, really good one. Really, really cute. None of these are chipped or anything. Some of like the gold painting and stuff is coming off. Some like worn off a little bit. Nothing has been chipped so far. Yeah, nothing's chipped. I'm very surprised to be honest. There's another. Oh, this is beautiful. And I bet you this is why I wanted this whole lot. Look at this. It's a footed teacup with flowers, roses, and it's pink and gold. And look, the inside is gold. This one is not marked. But I love it. I just love it. I might keep that one. We'll see. I might keep one or two and then the rest are going up for sale. What if, I can't believe it's been sitting here for so long. It's so pretty. Look at this one. It's so dainty and delicate. It has a little stain there. Um, and this is from Limoges, France, too. This is a good one. Limoges, France stuff can be quite pricey. And it also can be, you know, reasonable. I love stuff from Limoges, France. Okay. We have a gold one. Surprise! Isn't that just beautiful? Maybe I'll lot them up by color. And then sell them that way. So if you want pink roses or if you want green, um, this is from Bavaria. And there's the mark, the maker's mark. So that's pretty. Yeah, I think probably I'll lock them up that way. That would make most sense. Oh, this one feels really little, like the Tennessee one, if not even smaller. Oh my God, I can't. Look at this, it's like a tulip shape, right? A flower. It's not marked again, but that's so special. People out there who know about all of this, if you can tell me what they are, but how cute are these? Little demitas. This is what these are called, like the little ones, right? Demitas, demitas. Yeah, these are just so cute. I can't wait to take a picture of this. This was, this was fun, right? My sales have been fun, what I've been finding. The clothes and the shoes and, oh, another bone china. Look how beautiful with the gold and the pink roses. Look at the luster inside. It's like a pearl. Um, I don't know who that is. It's 
It looks almost like a little chicken there. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, like this, like this. I don't know. I don't know. So I'll go with this. And there's the mark. Maybe someone's initials. S T Saint something or other. I'm not sure. Right? Freaking adorable is that. This is Lamolos France. Guernin and Company. I'm just really, 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 really special. Oh, this makes me so happy. This is the one from Bavaria, right? So happy, I'm so happy. No, this is the Royal Sealy one. I thought I felt um something rough, but I didn't. You see where like it's gold is coming off a little bit? Cute are these? So cute. This is gonna be a long video. We're already at a half an hour. Oh, this is just like unbelievable. It's not marked. Of course, the not marked stuff is my favorite. Look at that, how it stands. You guys, this one I think I'm keeping. There's two I'm keeping. I know off the top of my head. Maybe three. Like this. It's had a mark on it from something. What? Isn't this just so beautiful? It's the one from Germany. None of them are chipped, like I said, just a little bit of the gold. This way, this way. Right? Right out, Carrie, right out. So beautiful. So, the second part of the bag, there's more. I love this. I love how small it is. I love the colors and I like, you know, that it goes from the um, lighter color to the darker color. Yeah, like that piece. Oh, and I know this is also why I got this. Royal Dalton, England. This is Bone China. Right? Maybe it's not chipped. Maybe it's just missing a little of the color right there. Maybe it's a little chip. Nothing major at all. Oh. Right. Reminds me of Capo de Monte. Look, you guys. Some pottery and it's a miniature. I was a little crazy. It's a miniature jug. Right? Yeah, this is some cute, cute stuff, Carrie. Cute stuff. This is making me so happy right now. But now, as I'm dropping everything, did I make you nervous, you guys? Look, a little salt dish. Oh, yeah, I saw this as one of the things I really wanted. I know it's Wedgwood, but it has strawberries. It's bone china, it's made in England, it's called the Wild Strawberries. And I love, love, love this piece. I have to show my friend Julie, because her grandmother was obsessed with strawberries. So all these years later, I think a Grandma B and strawberries. So I have to show this to her. Make sure she watches my video. This is for you, Grandma B. All these years, I'm still thinking you on the strawberries. A special lady. Oh, look at that. Look, you guys, it came with the basin. She can wash her hands. Oh, that's really cute. I'm really liking this. Um, we have this little bowl. It's definitely bone china. I can see through it. Reminds me of a lantern. You know, the ones they let fly in the sky. How pretty that is. And this is from Belene, Ireland. Wow, this is really special. 
My mother-in-law and sister-in-laws were all supposed to go to Ireland for my mother-in-law's birthday. Her 75th birthday. So maybe we'll give this to her. I'm going to clean this up and give this to her. They had to cancel it and um, reschedule it. Now my husband and I might be able to go because when they were going, we just, my husband couldn't take off then. So maybe we'll be able to go now. So let's see. What else we got? What else we got? So we have like a little juice glass. It's got a little orange juice or grapefruit juice. You can use it for whatever you want, but I think that's what it's for. Okay, let me open the box now. So I won the Carnival Glass set. It's the Sugar Creamer Entree set. Um, it's Indiana Glass Company, and I won it in the box. I've actually never seen it in the box, but I'm sure many of you have. But I love this. I love this. I love this. I love it. I just love Indiana Glass. Um, it's like blue, and it has the shifts like a mermaid. So these are all over, you see them, but it's the whole set, including the tray, right? How cute. And it comes with the box. I just love this. Um, oh, we got more books. Standard textbooks, oh, of cosmetology. How cool is this old book from cosmetology? Wow. Methods of sterilization. Look, they have, oh my God, that's so cute. Iron curling and weaving. So for cosmetology school, uh, this is a 1947 printed, printing. It was copyright in 1938 to 1946. Brooklyn School of Beauty Culture. So this is for cosmetology standard te textbook for cosmetology school in Brooklyn, 1947 printing. This is a very, very, very cool book. Air Service Boys over the Atlantic. This one's falling apart a little. Ooh, that's, that's rough. But for decoration, this is really pretty. You put it down and don't touch it because the binding's falling off. Um, Walter Lane, Eastport, New York, April 10th, 1939. Someone marked in here. That's very cool. Um, Submarine Boys for the flag. The book is not in great condition. Gary Grayson at Stanley Prep. Water damage. But doesn't smell, smell too bad like mildew. Right? Just a little bit of an old smell, but nothing bad. Look at the pictures. These are fun for decorations. 1927. See, like this is falling apart, but look how cool someone's handwriting's in it. That's so cool to me. Um, 1910. Just cool. Cool, lots of old books. Thomas Nelson, The Burial of Guns, 19, 1894. But let me see when this one's done. Copyright 1894. This is my wife. Some of them have like a little old smell, but nothing, nothing bad or obnoxious. Here's Bobby Blake and High School Chums. Looks like a boys' lot. You see, it's falling apart. But these are fun for decoration. Just trying to see when this one was made. 1916. It was copyright. See, so it has some damage. Acrobat Boys. I just like look. They have people's handwriting in it, but it's very, very, very delicate. Um, the Putnam Champions. The Putnam Hall Champions. So, yeah, this is a boy's lot for a young boy. Private Library of Rodney Foster. Date, 1908. So those were books. Three bowls. They're Pyrex bowls. The largest one is like an olive green. Does have some scratches. Um, what size is this, right? Yeah, it's Pyrex. Can you see that? Pyrex. Um, this is 24... Four quart. Here's the four quart, and then there's a lighter green Pyrex. It's probably two quart. Again, has a little, see the little scratches? Why can't you see them on here? 
they're very faint. But there's some scratches. Here, maybe there, can you see it? You see this? Yeah, there you go. They have those scratches throughout. No chips, just scratches. And then it's probably just like a one quart. Yeah, you can see all them here. They're scratched, they're well loved. They're scratched up. But again, three Pyrex dishes. This is the last bag. So let's see what we want. There's two bags in one. All right. One item in here. I'm making a mess. Four, no uranium. Four teacup plates. Little creamer, isn't that cute? At the bottom it has like a sunflower on it. Little creamer, it doesn't say anything, it's just white. Oh, what's in this one? Another creamer. Love that shape, that's like Art Deco-y. Very cute, clear. Oh, that's a really beautiful color. Yeah, no chips. The handle's white and the rest of it's like that. Olive green with a brown undertone. This is dirt inside. Really, really cute. That's what that is, really, really cute. There's more, there's more. Very long video, I know. Oh, this reminds me of the uh, French Limoges ones. Look at this. I love that with the Victorian couple. Isn't that cute? And this is from, it's Mark Germany. Oh, so pretty. Bad full of surprises because I don't remember any of it. Oh, how beautiful is this one? It's green and it's painted on. This is hand blown. There must have been something here because something is sharp here. Yeah, it's chipped right here. You see that? Right there, it's chipped, but it's still pretty. It's like on a shelf, you can't really see it. Um, so you know it's hand blown because you see there's like an indent in the bottom. They had to pull it off the glass after it's blown. So these are hand blown. See, if it's flat, like it comes from a mold, you know, like it's molded. This, they blow the, the glass and then they pull it off. So that's what that is. Okay. This might be the last piece. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get the whole piece of everything. Oh my God, this is so interesting. Look at this one. But look how it's, it's like almost pushed back. That's so cute. I had said something on here, but I can't see it anymore. That's it. That's my collection. Um, everything, including their fees, were $44. Um, what do you guys think of that? I mean, I think this is great. I'm very excited with what I got. It's just funny, all the extras that I got, but it's worth it. So if there's anything that you want, get a hold of me. And maybe I'll take one piece from this when I do my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna to add to it. I'm gonna take one of these out and add to it. And then just one other piece I'm giving my mother-in-law. So anything else, if there's something here you want, let me know. I'm happy to oblige. My information's below. That would be you. Guys, until next time, you guys, ciao. Bye.